Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, USAF grounds B-2 bomber fleet. UK court orders Airbus Qatar trial split. F-35B pilot released from hospital after runway ejection. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. USAF grounds B-2 bomber fleet. The Air Force has grounded the entirety of its B-2 Spirit fleet and will inspect all 20 of the Enigmatic aircraft in the wake of a December 10th incident in which an in-flight malfunction forced a B-2 crew to make an emergency landing at Missouri's Whiteman Air Force Base. Photos from the scene revealed the stricken bomber on the runway with its portside wing conspicuously low after the fashion of a main landing gear collapse, a departure from the runway, or both. A post-landing fire was extinguished and no injuries were reported. The mishap was eerily evocative of a September 2021 accident in which a B-2 dubbed Spirit of Georgia made an emergency landing at Whiteman AFB, departed the runway, and came to rest on its port side. The occurrence was attributed to faulty landing gear springs and microscopic cracks in key hydraulic components. The USAF has yet to announce a timeline for the summary B-2 grounding. A spokesperson for the service's 509th Bomb Wing, which along with the Air National Guard's 131st Bomb Wing, operates the whole of America's B-2 fleet, remarked, quote, Every incident is unique and we are currently evaluating what went wrong and how we can mitigate future risk. We will resume normal operations once a safety investigation has been concluded, end quote. And after the break, Blue Angels on for Sun and Fun 2023. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the path for some other interesting stories. Blue Angels on for Sun and Fun 2023. The Blue Angels unveiled their 2023 air show schedule and their first headline act, the 49th Annual Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo, for which ANN serves as the event's media partner. Their upcoming performance will feature the upgraded, newer FA-18 Super Hornets after making the switch from their older, legacy aircraft. The Angels recently made their way to Lakeland, Florida to scope out their event and maximize attendee time while at Sun and Fun. EAA sees resurgence in Young Eagles program. EAA's Young Eagles program has rebounded after languishing in low turnout since the pandemic, with more than 49,000 participants taking part this year. Almost 50,000 youths ages 8 to 17 got to see, feel, and hear the thrill of aviation with the aid of a free introductory flight through the Young Eagles in 2022, and it was all made possible by 4,078 pilots who volunteered to help. Of those volunteers, 1,159 had never been part of the Young Eagles program before this year. ISS Crew Inspects Damaged Soyuz Capsule The Soyuz MS-22 capsule, possibly damaged by a micrometeorite, was inspected by crew members aboard the International Space Station. Roscosmos reported a Canadian-built robotic arm had been used to photograph the Soyuz capsule, which had previously been determined to be afflicted with a coolant leak. 
The images were transmitted to Earth, where engineers are analyzing them in conjunction with additional data for purpose of determining how best to deal with the logistical problems occasioned by the Soyuz capsule's unforeseen fall from spaceworthiness. Brevard County Withholds Grant for Cocoa Beach Air Show Brevard County commissioners rejected a proposal to grant Florida's upcoming Cocoa Beach Air Show $87,852. The grant was authorized by the Brevard County Tourist Development Council and the Council's Cultural Committee under the auspices that the show will bolster income throughout the local hospitality industry. While the nine-member council recommended the grant, which would have come from the county's 5% tourist development tax on local overnight accommodations, county commissioners decided not to dispense the grant. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. UK Court Orders Airbus Qatar Trial Split a UK court has ordered an upcoming trial to be split into two parts on account of the sheer weight of disagreements between litigants Airbus and Qatar Airways. The parties are in a protracted dispute over alleged breaches of contracts stemming from the subjective airworthiness of A350 jets. Per a ruling handed down by Judge David Waxman, the first part of the Qatar Airways vs. Airbus trial will focus on liability, with arguments pertaining to the disputants' combined claims, estimated at $2 billion, to be heard and considered subsequently. On December 16, 2022, the two sides clashed after the spectacular fashion of multi-billion dollar companies over access to the allegedly defective aircraft, with Airbus lawyer David Wolfson arguing the consortium's experts had been forced to photograph the disputed jets from a distance, quote, under the light of the moon, end quote. Wolfson further accused the airline of engaging in a game of switcheroo for purpose of preventing inspections of its in-service aircraft. For months, Qatar Airways and Airbus have been warring in the British courts over multi-hundred million dollar losses incurred by the airline following the grounding of 21 of its 53 A350 long-range wide-body airliners. Qatar's Civil Aviation Authority deemed the airplanes unworthy following the discovery of substantial deterioration of their exterior paint and protective coatings. And after these messages, F-35B pilot released from hospital after runway ejection. Unbridled passion unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. F-35B pilot released from hospital after runway ejection. On December 15, 2022, shortly before 1015 CST, an F-35B pending delivery to the U.S. Marine Corps was damaged in a vertical landing mishap at Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth, a U.S. Navy base approximately five nautical miles west of Fort Worth, Texas. After appearing to touch down normally from a low-altitude hover, the fifth-generation short-takeoff vertical landing fighter lurched forward at a nose-low altitude, collapsing its nose landing gear and coming abruptly to rest on its snout. The aircraft then entered a series of partial ground loops, pivoting more or less about its radome and grounded starboard wing until the lone pilot ejected. Notwithstanding recent reliability concerns, the F-35's ejection system bore the aviator cleanly and expediently from the stricken aircraft, delivering him safely to ground beneath a fully deployed parachute canopy. Air Force Plant 4 is a government-owned, contractor-operated aerospace facility at which Lockheed Martin assembles F-16 and F-35 aircraft. 
The installation shares runway 1836 with NAS JRB Fort Worth, formerly Carswell Air Force Base. The downed F-35B was undergoing pre-delivery flight testing. Video of the accident has been seen 10 million times to date. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.